Good morning and welcome to Allah Day number 577. Allah Day keeps the Yay Sahara away. And we're definitely in the home stretch of the loss of Tefillin. And today we'd like to do a visual to make it a little more clear. Care should be taken that the knot of the Shalyad should not be moved away from the bias. And even when the Tefillin are in the bag, you should be careful about this. And the letter Yud of the knot should always be facing the heart. Okay, now here's the bias, this box is called the bias, the house. Here's the knot, and it's attached to the bias. You don't want to move it away. And that little thing here is the yud, okay? So that's the whole idea, is that you want the knot to be attached to the bias, and the yud should be facing the heart. So when you put it on, here it is, right? There's the knot, and the yud is facing the heart, okay? The base into which the strap is inserted should be above, and the bias itself should be below. This is a little hard to understand, but this is where the straps are coming out of. So the idea is that it's on an angle. See how it's a little above, it's a little higher. When you put it on your arm, near your bicep, it's the, the bias part, this house part is down, and where the base is, is higher up on the arm. In extreme circumstances, for example, a left-handed person who wears tefillin on his right arm and now has no other tefillin except those borrowed from someone who wears them on his left arm, and similarly the, con the converse, and he is unable to change the knot, then if he wears the tefillin in this manner, with the base upward and the bias downward, the yud and the knot will face outward. Therefore, in these circumstances, he may invert the tefillin and put it on with the base downward and the bias upward in order that the yud and the knot face the heart. Okay, so again, this is a little complicated. But like we said, we want two things. Number one is we want the knot to be facing the heart and the yud to be facing the heart. On the other hand, we also want the base to be higher than the bias, right, than the house. But what happens, now as a righty, I put my tefillin on my left arm. What if this is the only tefillin available and there's a lefty who needs to borrow my tefillin? He puts his tefillin on his right arm. Do you see the problem? The knot is going to be facing the outside and the yud is going to be facing the outside, not towards the heart. So he's got a problem. So you know what the halacha says? It says you got to invert invert the tefillin, put it backwards. So that, even though the base is now lower than the bias, but the knot is facing the heart and that's more important than the base being higher than the, than the um, base being higher than the um, bias. So better than not is facing the heart, that's the idea. So if you see a lefty putting on tefillin in an awkward way, now you know the halacha, he's doing the right thing because the knot has to be facing the heart. That was your halacha, thanks for listening. Um, to sponsor future halacha, $36, 100 for the gold. We appreciate your sponsorship and we'll see you tomorrow.